Hey, what up? It's your boy. So somebody tipped me off on Twitter the other day about this particular set of Spotify playlists that have been discovered and I guess were recently created by Spotify themselves. So these are official public playlists of Spotify of, get this, anime music of each decade. That's right, as you hopefully know, if you've seen videos of this channel in the past, by the way, subscribe if you haven't, please. Then you would know that I love me and my anime and I especially love me and my anime music. I think everyone who likes anime, obviously, unless you're a fucking robot that somehow doesn't enjoy listening to music at all, can agree, anime music has some fucking killer tracks in it. The world of anime has introduced Japan and the rest of the world to some fantastic pieces of music, classic bangers and just fresh, up and coming new artists hopping into the scene through the power of the weebs. So again, when I found out that uh, it's gotten so big now to the point where the official Spotify account has created four separate, that's right, four separate playlists between 50 to 60 songs of anime songs that they believe to be the best, the hottest pieces of music that defined that decade onto Spotify as a public playlist. I was very curious and I had to check it out. So that's exactly what we're gonna be doing today. So I guess Spotify has called these the Anime Rewind Playlist. As you can see on screen right now, this is their first one that they made, which is the Anime Rewind of the 80s. 50 tracks that Spotify deems to be the quintessential tracks that define 80s anime and they've done one for the 90s the noughts and the 2010s so we're going to be going through each of those giving my opinions on what songs that they have added to see if uh spotify has some good taste in anime music so obviously uh some of these tracks are just not available uh maybe to my location i don't know or maybe just not at all first of all 80s um you know i, I don't know if there are many people watching this video who are like huge into the 80s anime scene i've gone back and watched uh, a fair few of anime from the 80s haven't watched all of them I, I wish i had i haven't watched all of them but there's already a bunch of tracks that uh i can say are absolute bangers like Ramu no Rab Song, which is from the original Urusei Yatsura series, uh, which is a fire track, classic 80s Japanese pop. We have Touch, the opening to the manga and anime Touch, which is an incredible series, great tra fucking track. We have the original Loop in the Third 80s opening, obviously banger. We have a couple of Gundam tracks, Get Wild from TM Network, classic 80s track. Let's see, what else do we have? We have the original Ginga Tetsudo 3-9 track which is weird i don't remember ginga tesla 39 coming from the 80s i believe ginga tesla 39 or galaxy express 999 is originally from the 60s so maybe they're just like adding 80s and before onto this track i don't know or maybe this is like an 80s version of the ginga tesla 39 track we got some classics one here like uh doraemon no Uta, the the original opening to the legendary uh manga and anime series doraemon we also have the original <laughs> sazai sun track which is again uh, a banger. It's it, these are, these are shows that I grew up on, so I can't I can't hate them. Oh, I'm so glad they put this in. Yasashi san This is the opening track to, or I guess the opening credits track to Kiki's Delivery Service, the classic '80s Studio Ghibli soundtrack and uh it is a banger it is it is one of my favorite yumi ri tracks it's such a feel good and such a feel good track to open up and a perfect song to open up a movie like kiki's delivery service so banger track obviously we got some classic macros tracks on here as well as well as uh let's see i mean look i might not i'm i'm just reading these uh titles and there might be some i'm missing here that i actually know but i just don't maybe don't recognize the 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 name of the song so i apologize for that obviously we have my neighbor totoro i mean you kind of have to add this in here like even as as overplayed as this track is and as and as tacky sounding as some people might find it especially if you're not a necessarily a fan of uh the my neighbor totoro movie because he kind of had to grow up watching it. I completely get that. Uh, this song's a banger. I mean, come on, you can't you can't hate that. And also, fucking the original Cousin Otani no Nausuka track from the Nausuka movie. Hell yes. We also have the OG Kinikuman opening, fire track, amazing track, 
one of the best uh fucking 80s anime songs in my opinion absolutely awesome uh we also have the city hunter track as well god damn dude like spotify so far they're, they're making sure to not miss the fucking certified hood classics from the 80s these are some great fucking tracks by the way uh if you're curious to listen to some of these tracks i've left the playlists these uh spotify playlists down in the description so check it out for yourself and give me your thoughts and opinions on it but let's go now over to the 90s playlist all right here we go 90s playlist 50 tracks once again let's see we have here obviously zanko kuna tenshi no teze the evangelion opening probably one of the best 90s anime openings if not the best one of the best anime openings ever created um you can't hate on this one. Oh my god i'm so glad they put this in sobakasu by judy and mary the opening to veroni kenshin this song is so fucking good it was super unconventional sounding super ahead of its time when it was released it, it really did cause like a cultural splash when people first heard this opening in veroni kenshin and it's such a perfect opening as well to the early times of veroni kenshin god damn i miss that show we got ojamajo kanibaru Classic Ojamajo Doremi opening fire track here. Let's see, Chara Head Chara, one of the best Dragon Ball Z openings ever, in my opinion. We have the original Japanese opening to Pokemon, fantastic. I mean, as much as I love the English opening as well, the Gotta Catch Em All, the Japanese OP, I dare say, is a little bit better. Tank by the seatbelts, obviously. I mean, you can't, you can't, you can't mess that up. Obviously, this this is one of the most beloved anime openings of all time and so incredibly incredibly catchy it got everybody who was watching anime at the time into jazz if they weren't already uh, seatbelts are an amazing band please check out the rest of their stuff okay here's what i thought was interesting is that they added the original detective conan main theme or case closed if you're a sub watch uh dub watcher which you know is is, is a great track don't get me wrong, but in my opinion, if you're gonna add a Detective Co open, uh, Detective Conan track, the first opening is probably one of the best. The the first opening is definitely one of the best. That the Komoto Hiroto, his vocals on that are just absolutely killer fire. I remember when I did a video discussing the best anime music here on this very channel with my good friend Nano, which I will leave in the description below. If you're a music enthusiast such like as myself, we talked about just how fucking good that first opening is, and it's still a classic. I would have probably put that in this playlist rather than the main theme, um, because it's just more of a feel-good vibe, I guess, especially if you're going to follow it with Dandan Kokoro ga Hikariteku, which is fire track so good i'm glad they added this oh katsushika rhapsody really the uh one of the i believe this is a, an opening or an ending i forgot which one it was to kochikame which is an interesting pick because i guess they kind of you know fit this whole playlist around japanese spotify listeners because this is a track that is legendary in the japanese and uh, otaku community not so well known outside of japan just because kochikame is wasn't didn't really create a cultural splash as much as it did in japan i mean if you've seen or know anything about kochikami then you know like it is very obvious as to why that is the case because just the 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 vibe and the feel and the overall aesthetic of that show is very very japanese like i i am not even surprised that no one outside of japan knows nothing about kochikami i fucking love it but this is a fantastic track i love this track and hopefully if you listen to this and you fuck with it then please give kochikami a try even though it is incredibly japanese it is incredibly subtle show uh it is a banger and there's a reason why there uh there are 200 volumes of this and is considered one of the longest running manga series ever created we got my friend by zard classic tamashi no Rufran, classic oh my god the, the getta robo fuck that was the 90s i thought that was way before that but anyway yes Yes, yes, yes. I'm fucking sad that this is grayed out and I can't listen to it, but the Nintama Rantaro opening, 100% Yuki, such a fire track. It's so good. This fucking song, if you can find it on YouTube, because obviously you can't find it on this on this playlist because it's grayed out. If you can listen to this track on YouTube, please listen to it because you are listening to the sound of my fucking childhood. The Ampaman theme, okay, sure. I mean, does it fit into a playlist like this? In my opinion, not really. You could have left this one out, but I mean, I guess they did add the Sazai Sun and Doraemon themes to the 80s track as well, so I'm not mad about this one. Oh, Koi Sato Setsuna Sato classic shinohara ryoko track uh this is this is a beautiful track 
Love this track. It's so good. Uh, Drivers High, Lark NCL. Yes, give GTO some love. Tsu Akuro by Whiteberry. I'm really glad they added this one in. I forgot what the opening track of this one comes from, but Whiteberry is a fantastic Japanese band from the 90s. Uchiagi Hanabi is one of the best tracks from the 90s, and I used to play that song in karaoke so much when I was in elementary school and middle school. Like, it's such a good track. Please, listen, give, please give Whiteberry some love, because uh, they are fantastic. And then obviously... Princess Mononoke theme. What more can I say? One of one of the most beautiful, beautiful, serene Studio Ghibli tracks ever created. One of the one of my favorite pieces of music from Studio Ghibli. So glad that they put this on here. All right, now we're getting into a territory that I think a lot more of you guys can relate to, especially if you're not that deep into the anime world. Anime Rewind from the 2000s, between the year 2000 and 2009. There's some fucking bangers on here. We got Bluebird, which is a great fucking track. We got Melissa, the first opening to Full Metal Alchemist. Banger track. God knows from Suzumiya Haruhi, one of the best insert songs to come out of any anime ever. Fucking amazing track, still amazing. Go by Flo, great Naruto opening, you can't hate that one. Rewrite, again, another Full Metal Alchemist track. Like, this is this is around the time when I think a lot of uh, modern anime watchers, or at least anime watchers around my age group, really started to, like, perk up our ears and pay attention to the world of, uh, of, of music in anime and really started to fall in love with it. I feel like, at least for me, this was kind of the moment, like, the early 2000s, where I really started to get into the whole anime music grind, I guess, and was, like, really paying attention. Like, Dei Sakuration, like, I mean, look, as... As much as it's a fucking meme, it's still a great track. You can't hate on it. And Kagayake Girls from K-On! Yes! I mean, granted, I'm a massive K-On fan. I think every single track from the K-On soundtrack, both seasons and the movie, have some killer tracks. Would I say Kagayake Girls is my favorite song from K-On? Not necessarily. I still think the second opening is better. And I mean, you can't hate the endings. If you're gonna put Kagayaki Girls on this playlist, come on, you gotta put in some of the ending tracks. Like, you know, don't say lazy. Oh my God, so good. Cause I mean, you're already putting two Haruhi tracks right here. And this is no hate, mind you. Hare Hare Yukai was also part of my fucking childhood. But uh, if you're gonna add two Haruhi tracks, you could have filled up half of this playlist with just K-On tracks. I mean, I feel k just needs a different playlist in and of its own. You know what? I digress. And holy shit, holy shit, I'm so glad that they put this fucking One Piece track in. I'm so glad. Like, you can even see that I've personally given this a heart because this, I don't care what anyone fucking says, this is the best One Piece opening. I, you, you, I know I'm probably gonna get flamed as fuck in the comments about that, but to be honest, I don't give two rats asses what you think. Everyone says like, oh, this One Piece opening is better, this One Piece, no, irrelevant. OP2, Believe by Folder 5 is an absolute fucking it is so goddamn good, especially the placement and usage of this track in the early, early stages of One Piece when it was still youthful, it was still just having fun, it wasn't taking itself all that seriously. And just the way that you can feel, feel just the sheer excitement, the upcoming excitement for what's to come, to give you more of a taste test of what the world of One Piece has to offer to everybody. Believe by Folder 5 is a banger, banger track. This is the best one, and I'm so so glad that the dudes over at Spotify also agreed. I don't know if there are going to be other uh, One Piece openings in this, but this is by far one that needed to be in this rewind. Dantan by Does, uh, probably one of the best Gintama openings. Definitely, uh, no, no, no shame in that. No, no hate to that. D Tank No Live Overworld, uh, first single from Overworld. Banger track, banger opening. We got uh, Source and Aquarium, one of the most classic hood classic anime tracks for sure. Oh my god. Oh my god! Dude, I need to like meet the person who created this playlist because they are going after my heart. They put Sakasama no Cho, the ending to Hell Girl? Who the fuck even remembers Jigoku Shoujo, bro? Like, I mean, look, I remember Jigoku Shoujo. It's a great fucking show. But this ending, oh my god, this ending is so goddamn good. And look, again, like, uh, no hate to Detective Conan, but why did you put it in two different playlists? Like, we don't we don't need this, this other version of the main theme from Detective Conan. I mean, it's a great main theme, don't get me wrong. It is, it is iconic as hell, but that could have easily been filled up by, you know, maybe giving
giving some like uh, lesser known anime uh, a, a, a try or you know maybe some lesser known hidden gems of anime music in the 2000s a, a shot because I mean there's a shitload of anime that I can think of right now coming from the 2000s that probably didn't make it onto this playlist that I think definitely should have I mean if you're gonna put Sakasama no Cho on this playlist come on bro like where is Destin Historia that like that the opening to fucking uh what the hell is the name of that show I'm forgetting go sick the opening to go sick Destin Historia is one of the most underappreciated anime openings of the 2000s you could have replaced it with this by far you could have replaced it with this and yes obviously right on shooting star by the pillows this is easily one of the best anime soundtracks to come out of the 2000s if not ever i mean come on you got to give it some love also i just noticed like in the 90s version speaking of playlists you put in uh tank by the seatbelts but nothing from samurai champloo you, you you're not going to give any love to nuja bears in the 90s track list come on bro okay we got another hokago tea time one here fua fua time uh not my favorite hokago tea time track again uh, i don't know why they didn't add some like endings to it they definitely could have done that for sure but uh always with me classic spirited away track can't hate it the ending song to how's moving castle uh i mean it's a beautiful track don't get me wrong but uh i think there could have been some other tracks in that but right underneath kimi no shiranai monogatari fucking best monogatari ending track ever amazing supercell track please give it a listen we have keroto machi from uh surgeon keroto very underrated series i would highly recommend and holy shit holy shit did they really did they really just use this the opening to Sayonara Zetsubo Sensei? <laughs> I mean, it's a fucking banger, don't get me wrong. Every single opening and ending of Sayonara Zetsubo Sensei, absolute banger. This one is definitely the best one. I think this is from season one. I, d I completely forgot about this song. This song's a banger, bro. This song is a fucking banger. And, and I mean, Sayonara Zetsubo Sensei is an amazing series as well, so please give it a listen. Uh, we have Ponyo track, obviously, fucking fantastic. Uninstall classic uh one of the most like hard hitting and heartfelt openings uh they could have used for Bokurano, and i'm so glad that this is on here this you can't talk about 2000s anime openings without talking about uninstall this is a classic uh soraido days again classic track it's same with only my railgun man this is can you tell i'm a 2000s anime fan <laughs> Days by Flow, come on now. This is like, obviously, duh. Oh my God. And Discotech, Discotech, Rosario Vampire ending. Who the fuck remembers that? <laughs> like, holy fuck, bro. You added that in? For realsies? Man, I love whoever put this soundtrack together. We can definitely vibe to some motherfucking discotheque, dog. This is such a fun fucking ending track, dude. And it's it's aged tremendously well. I mean, the, the show Rosario Vampire, I have different opinions on. That's for another video. But this track is a banger, bros. I'm, I'm vibing out to some fucking discotheque. All right, and last but not least, let's check out the most recent one of the 2010 from 2010 to 2019. Uh, first of all, there are a lot more tracks here, 67 songs. I mean, maybe it's because around this time is when, you know, the streaming thing started to get a lot more uh, mainstream, especially in Japan. So there's probably just more options that are available currently on Spotify. So it makes a lot of sense that there are, these are the most amount of tracks here. Four hours, 49 minutes of hopefully banger anime openings, endings, and tracks from the 2010s. I mean, we're starting off with Good Enge by Lisa. You know, I gave my thoughts on this track in a previous video which you can check out in the description below yeah this is a banger track i mean you can't hate it y you honestly can't hate it it's it is a fire track it's grown on me a lot great fucking track uh we got secret base ending to anohana uh this is a beautiful track um and i think this is the one where this is the 10 years after version so yeah this is when everybody is singing it uh from the cast this is great peace sign Obviously, got to give some love to some Yonez Akenshi. Uh, not my favorite Yonez Akenshi track by a long shot, but this is a banger. And look, again, Unravel, same thing. I gave my opinions on it in, the, in a previous video. It's a good track. It's a good track. I think, personally, if you were going to put Unravel on there, you probably should have put in Abnormalize from Psychopaths uh, over this, but hey, I'll allow it. Uh, Zen Zen Zense, 
I mean, rad wimps are amazing. Even though this era of rad wimps, in my opinion, uh, got a little bit too poppy for me. Um, I'm definitely more of a fan of the first couple of albums, just as a rad wimps fan. But this is a great fucking track and such a good usage for the Your Name uh, movie. So I'm not complaining about that. Connect from Claris. The fucking Puella Magi, Madoka Magica opening, fucking fire. Everything Claris makes is fire. From season two, K-On, uh, we got the song that I was talking about previously. I actually forgot that season two came out in the 2010s. I thought it was still in the uh, 2000s, but this is my favorite K-On song by far. Glad they put this in. Guren no Yumiya, first Shingeki no Kyojin opening. Um, again, as I mentioned in a previous video, this is still one of my favorite uh, songs to come out of Attack on Titan. So full respects for that one. What else do we have here? Uh, Core Pride, Overworld classic fucking track this is from Alna exorcist i believe if i'm not mistaken Kimori ni Yaksuku, classic track as well honestly some great track yes yukitoki by yanagi yanagi yes banger opening the usage of it in yahari ore no seishu no buko machigatte iru is so good amazing opening for an amazing series please listen to this yanagi nagi needs some more love bro her voice is spectacular and we've got a double anohana we've got both the opening and the ending i mean i fucking love this opening you can't hate it as as much as people rave on about the ending which is still beautiful don't get me wrong the opening is so goddamn good i would uh, absolutely put this in oh yes hell yeah uragiri no yuyake the durara opening fuck yeah bro amazing track hell yeah uh, uh, and we got some more music, me music for you boys. We got some more me music for you. The ending to Joshiraku uh, that you've probably seen a million fucking times on like TikTok and anime memes. Uh, yep, that's on here. You can't hate it. Obviously, bang a track. Oh wow, Namai no Kaibutsu by Egoist. This is a this is a this is a freaking amazing track from Psychopaths. Fucking amazing track. I mean, Egoist is a brilliant artist, and that I think their discography definitely needs some more love. And Crossing Field, obviously, the Weeb National Anthem, Sword Online opening, Swan Fire. I still, in my opinion, prefer the second opening to Sword Online, even though it was paired with easily the worst part about Sword Online, the worst arc of Sword Online, it still has, I think. It stands a little bit higher for me than Crossing Field, but I mean, again, this is a tra another track you can't not talk about when talking about anime from the 2010s. Uh, and Uchiagi Hanabi, as dog shit as that movie was, and I did a whole review of it years ago on the main channel, uh, which you can go check out, uh, you can't hate this track. It Dream Team with Daoko and Yonezu Kenshi. You can't hate it. It's easily one of the best parts about that movie. Holy shit! Yasashisa no Ryu by Chocho. Oh my lord, we're gonna give some Hyoka love up in this bitch? Hell yes, dog. This is a fantastic track. Amazing anime. Not enough people have watched Hyoka. Do yourself a favor, do your boy a solid, go watch Hyoka, and you will understand the brilliance of this track. This track is a fire track. Obviously, gonna give some JoJo some love. Uh, you could have honestly put in a number of JoJo tracks on this, but we're gonna put the first one in here instead. Surprising they're not putting in the second opening, considering I think that's more of a staple JoJo song than Sonochi no Sadame. Here we go. Some more fucking classic, this time Japanese meme music. Yokoso Japari Paku from uh, Kemono Friends. I mean, look, as much as I personally just could not get into Kemono Friends as a show. Uh, this song is catchy as hell. You, you gotta admit, this song is catchy as all hell, and I hate the fact that I think it is catchy as hell. <laughs> Got some classic Macross Delta music as well. Hell yeah. I'm completely okay with that, honestly. Oh my god, there's just so many good fucking tracks here. Like, <laughs> we got the Pop Team Epic track, which, you know, admittedly, uh, like, it, it was fine. It was fine. I don't think it's it's worthy of a spot in a playlist like this, but hey, it, I'll, I'll let it slide. It's totally fine. Oh, and last but not least, right at the bottom, Hyadain no Kakakata Omoi C, the opening to Nichijo. I mean, I'm like racking my brain around right now to f remember what openings and endings these were, but this one is definitely a Nichijo opening. Amazing track. Honestly, all the Nichijo openings are fucking fire, and uh, this one's probably my favorite, honestly, and I'm glad they're giving uh, some more like fun, goofy wacky types of anime opening some love as well honestly overall spotify not bad not bad at all again there are obviously going to be some like personal preferences with like what kind of openings that you personally resonate with and i guess that's the great thing right is that like this is but a mere tip of the iceberg of the great anime music that you can find 
here on the internet. So, uh, hey, you know, if the whole purpose of these soundtracks and these playlists is to just give a taste test to perhaps people who don't know anything about anime music and think all anime music is just the Pokemon and Dragon Ball opening, then I think this these are honestly some great fucking soundtracks um, and playlists rather. I thought the, the choices were going to be like kind of questionable a lot of the times, but hey, Spotify, you actually did pretty all right. I'm 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 not mad about this at all. In fact, there are a couple of tracks here that I've never heard of, so I'm kind of keen to like check it out to see, you know, some of the openings and endings that I missed as well. And the fact I think that they split it up into decades was a great idea. Um, I definitely want to see one from the 70s as well, if they're down for that. And then obviously as the years go on, we're probably going to get one of the 2020s as well. So looking forward to those. But uh, hey, that's my thoughts and opinions on these. Again, if you'd like to listen to these playlists rather, and you have a Spotify account, then I've left the links to all those down in the description below. So give them a listen. Let me know what your favorite songs were from each of the playlists. And hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to smack my face right here to subscribe to the channel. Let's keep making big channel number go bigger. And over here next to my head, a couple more videos you can check out if you enjoyed this one. And the links to my social media, as well as my Patreon to support me directly, and my YouTube shorts and TikTok page down in the description below. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace.